I don't know if you remember, but if you've been watching my videos, you've seen a little silver jet boat that I have that I ordered from David uh, of River at Jet Boats a couple years ago. And I've got the smallest one I could find because uh, it's usually just me. And I love the boat really fast. It was a two stroke, so it was super, super hot. I mean, I think it just flew. But it had a couple things that I, I wished it had that it didn't. And one was a platform on the back so that I can easily scuba dive uh, when I'm out in the water. Um, it was really hard for me to get in and out of the boat with all my gear. So I called David up and said, hey David, I love this little boat, but I want something that has a platform on the back and I want to change it up just a little bit. Can you build me another one? He's like, sure, no problem, what do you want? So I said, a little bit bigger, not too much, just a little platform on the back, and I want it to look like a Vietnam era uh, PBR boat, like a Pro Boat Riverine. If you've ever seen Apocalypse Now, that's the boat that they use in Apocalypse Now. He says, oh yeah, no problem, Chig, we'll, we'll take care of you. So he got to work on it, and I picked it up not too long ago. What do you think? I think it's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> I have not taken it out yet. I was in, uh, David and I took it for a quick spin up in Ohio on the uh, river there, uh, just like for 10 minutes, you know, just to see what it was like. Uh, I have not been out on it by myself yet, though. Really love it. It's got this platform on the back, and, and it's got my name too, and it's just, that's gonna allow me to get in and out of the water very easily. It's got a stomp grate. This is a stomp grate, so when leaves get sucked up in the intake, uh, it's really easy. It's kind of hard to clean those out when you're on the water, but it's got a stomp grate and it's actually operated by an air compressor up there. So I just push a button. The other boat, when I first got it, did not have a stomp grate, and that was a big mistake on my part because when you take it out in the fall, the leaves get up in the intake and it would get clogged up and it was really hard to clean. I did get a stomp grate put on it, but it was like later. Beautiful OD. This is actually a wrap, uh, it's not painted as, uh, as a wrap on there. He just, did, he just did a lovely job with this. I mean, it's just top notch. Great seats, got drainage back here. I got it in the cedar tree, so I've got a little bit of leaves in there, but it's gonna look really bad soon. This really thick plastic here. I can't remember what kind that's called, but it's for hitting rocks, so you can just bounce right off of them. The bottom's a lot different than the one I had. That's gonna make it track uh, much differently. Cause that little silver boat, I mean, it would fly, but it, it wouldn't like cut corners real sharp. It was a little bit more of a sweep to the corners. And I like having the ability to cut them really sharp because I'm going through a lot of rock. So that's gonna help me out a lot. In fact, if you look at this boat, this is basically the same boat that I was in a couple weeks ago when five of us went up the Potomac. And my buddy who lives nearby has one just about like this, different color. I'm gonna have so much fun in this. And you are too, I hope. Nice uh, motor in there. That's out of a jet ski. That's good. He just did a really good job with this. I'm just so impressed. We are going to go down to the Potomac River near my house and take it for a spin. It will be my maiden voyage by myself on the Potomac. So let's go ahead and do that, what do you say? We're not gonna do anything crazy today though because uh, we'll be above the dam so there's not any big rapids or anything to go up. But we'll have a good time. Let me get my gear. So we finally made it to the water. I. Uh, I went ahead and just zipped upstream because there's a bunch of people down there by the boat ramp with jet skis and stuff and it's really noisy. And we're on the Potomac and we're going to go for just a quick little spin up through here. Loving the boat so far. I already have it trashed. <laughs> this is from one trip. <laughs> Hard to believe in it. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in and we're going to zip up toward uh, Williamsport, Maryland. Probably won't make it all the way, but uh, we'll check a few things out on the way and just see how the boat does. No fuss. No muss.
Well, I don't think I'm ready to jump that just yet. I was hoping to be able to go up the creek a little ways, but that's not going to happen. All right, back out to the main stem of the Potomac, and let's go ahead and keep it going up river. <laughs> that's too bad. I really wanted to get up there. That's, the, that's a cool little creek. Got some good deep holes and some old mills and stuff on it, um, but not today. guys i guess i'm gonna call it a day i'm gonna uh <laughs> head home get an adult beverage and that's uh, friday night and um get some food i forgot to tell you i do believe that the little silver rocket comet thing that i had the other jet boat uh i gave back to david now it's still mine but i gave it to him he's gonna sell it for me and you know he's gonna go over it and make sure everything is you know up to date and tip top uh, but if you're interested in that little boat, uh, give David, uh, I'll give you his email address and a pin comment. Yeah, and a pin comment, I guess. And I shoot him an email and tell him you're interested. I don't know when he'll have it ready, uh, but I dropped it off uh, not too long ago. So, you know, it might take him a couple weeks. Really not that much wrong with it. <laughs> a couple little things. But anyway, hope you had a good time. I had a good time. I absolutely love this boat. I love the look of the boat. Had lots of people stop and talk to me about it. And uh, I'm just kind of sad I already tore it up. <laughs> well, I didn't tear it up, I just got muddy. What do you say? Want to get out of here? I do. <laughs>